Okay, after that little ordeal with me trying to record Immersion for last week, I feel like I need a little short break from that game. But let's see, what else can we play for this week? I know, I'll just sit back and enjoy some chill gameplay on Aura Kingdom. Eh, it's entertaining for me, but as far as commentary goes, this is more of a live stream friendly game. Okay, so that won't work. I know, how about Hyper Universe? I got that recently, let's try that out. Yeah, I am having more fun, but... This is still much more of a live stream game than a live commentary funny moments kind of game. So that won't work either. Okay, you know what? What about Counter-Strike, huh? Everybody loves some Counter-Strike funny moments. And I'm forced to clutch on the first game back. Delightful. Counter-Strike won't work either. Besides, I don't have anyone to play it with. Okay, let's think. There's gotta be some game that I have that's entertaining enough for me to commentate on it and keep the attention of the audience. I've got an idea. Ladies and gentlemen, do not adjust your televisions. This is just the resolution the game is. Hey, what's up, pups? It's JR, and welcome to RC Revenge. You may recognize some of the music here uh, from my videos because I use the RC Revenge soundtrack for my background music for, you know, non copyright things because a claim went under and therefore all of their copyright stuff has, is now null. However, my gamepad seems to not be working with the emulator I'm using to play this. So, I will be right back once I figure out what the fuck the issue is. It took several hours! Okay, there we go. The uh, controller now works. Evidently, the <laughs> program I used to be able to um, use my PS4 controller on my computer was uh, making some issues. But anyway, welcome to RC Revenge, one of my favorite games from my childhood. I probably have more hours in this game than I do in Warframe, which is saying something. But basically, I'm mad, you're mad, we're all mad in this mad, mad world we live in. So, demos! Remember demos? I'm just gonna sit back, relax, and talk to you guys, and maybe commentate on whatever the fuck I can while playing this game. Because, holy fuck, the nostalgia is flowing through me. Every single time I open this game in the emulator, I just remember sitting in uh, sitting in my room on the floor, looking up at the TV, playing this game for hours on end. I love this game so much. And it still holds up to this day. Still holds up to this day, for sure. Especially soundtrack, holy shit. Uh, so yes, a lot of the songs you hear will be, um, will be rather familiar if you were, you know, frequent on my videos. Because I use the RC Revenge soundtrack in almost every single one of my videos. So, you'll be used to this game in that, remark that regard. Fuck. I have no plans for this, specifically. I just wanted to play something to be able to get something up for this week, because I did not want to play Skyrim, because it's been giving me- Pardon that burp. It's been giving me a lot of issues re recently, so, uh, I'm not gonna do that for a while. I will most likely start back up next week, but today is not the day. It is unfortunate that I do not have my old, uh, my old PlayStation 1 files, mostly because A, I lost my PlayStation 1, B, I lost the disc for this game, so I am starting a completely fresh new file so I don't have any of the stuff I unlocked, which sucks because I 100% of this game. But anyway, that just gives us, you know, more things to do here, right? Right. We're just probably just gonna do a championship for this, uh, for this video. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna play the game, and whatever the fuck it throws at us, we're gonna play it. Which sucks, because I just remember the first race on every cup is in, um, oh shit, uh, Adventure World. I don't remember what it's called. Which is kind of unfortunate, because this is my least favorite of all the worlds. But, you know what? I'm just happy to be playing this game right now. However, I do not remember any of the controls. Okay, circle is ability. Got it. So, fun fact about this game. Back when I was a youngin', we did not have a Nintendo 64. We did not have a Super Nintendo. All we had in the Nintendo regard was an original NES. So... <laughs> 
we did not have Mario Kart. The only Mario thing we had was Super Mario Brothers for the NES. So, because we didn't have Mario Kart, this game, RC Revenge, was my Mario Kart. Because, as you can see, it is in the exact same vein with power-ups, racing on a short track, and getting angry at literally everyone you come across for using that ability on you. As you do in every game that has power-ups. Some of my fondest childhood memories came from this game, to be perfectly honest. Since we're talking about how I was back in the day, I'll just, you know, hit you with some facts about me and what I, how it was back in the old days. I grew up playing racing games. We had Rad Racer for the NES, we had this of course, and then we had a few, I believe, two Gran Turismo games for the PS2. And that's pretty much we all, all we had for a while because we didn't exactly have a lot of money back in the day. So that's why I spent most of my time playing this game, because it was just the game I loved the most and I didn't have a lot to pick, but I was... Oh. You know what? It's a championship. Doesn't matter that we got third. We don't need first place every time. Anyway, what I was saying was, I didn't have a lot of options to play, so I just played this all day, and I was completely content with that because this game is super fucking fun. Which, unfortunately, the studio that made this acclaim uh, went under. I believe they went bankrupt. So, they no longer exist and are no longer making games. Which is unfortunate because I would love to have, like, a RC Revenge remastered. Which, mind you, there is something like that that already already exists called RC Revenge Pro for the PlayStation 2, but it's for the PlayStation 2, which is now a rather outdated console, so we're just kind of stuck with the really early PlayStation 1 version, like the one I'm playing now, and the slightly more refined uh, PlayStation 2 version with, I believe, one more world in the form of... Oh, fuck. I don't know what it's called because I never played RC Revenge Pro. I only played RC Revenge, so I never had that map. I think it's some it's a pirate. It's a pirate themed world. Uh So it's something island. Uh JR and Post put up what that thing's called right now. Thank you. Oh, that wasn't to you. That was to whoever the fuck just zapped all of us. But it's as I was saying, it's really unfortunate that Acclaim Studios went bankrupt because I I've stated this already several times, I absolutely love this game, and I still come back to it even now to play it every now and then. It's just, I had to factory reset my computer a few months ago, so I lost all of the save files I had on this on my emulator, so that's why I'm starting with the Bronze Cup and literally no extra RC cars, which sucks because I had Skullduggery and the UFO because... You know, I play the fuck out of this game, and you get Skullduggery, I believe, just by for just by progressing, and the UFO, you get by completing all of the time trials and completing all of the time trials on Mirrored as well. So as you can imagine, that was rather difficult. But you know, I got it, and now it doesn't even fucking matter because even though I got it twice now on the original PS1 and the uh, the emulator version I had before this emulator version because I had to factory reset my computer. That's progress is now all null because I had to factory reset my computer. But you know what? If it gives me an excuse to play this game even more, I'm gonna take it. Now pardon me while I adjust my headset because I have an earphone offs. Because you don't exactly need uh, to sound whore in this game. But you know what? Fuck it. I'll just put it back on. Gonna listen to the amazing soundtrack. Actually wait, no. I can't hear myself and it's bugging me. Professional YouTuber. Very professional. I am going to slam my face in this desk if he gets an overcharge. If I get overcharged again, the I'm pretty sure the uh, power-ups don't have any like canonical names. They're just stuff. They're just things I've named back in the day, like that uh, electro. Sh uh, the bubble is one of the most annoying abilities in this entire game, and anyone who has played this game, I'm sure you can vouch for me. Anyway. The little electroshock thing that uh, slows people down when they're in the proximity of it, I have named Overload. Or Overcharge. I don't remember what I said. I'm pretty sure it was Overcharge. And this is, quite simply, Sonic Boom, because it does that. Then the battery is just a boost, so it's just boost. The big thunderstorm shock thing that's 
just the lightning bolt from Mario Kart. I never really named, I just said lightning strike or lightning or something. Um, then the mines are just mines, and the oil slick is just an oil slick. It's rather straightforward, but, you know, I was, <laughs> I think I was a, a four at the time. Either three or four. I was very young, so I didn't exactly have the most expansive vocabulary. Oh yeah, there's also a laser beam that's just a laser beam. There's no restart option, right, because this is a championship. Okay, we'll just deal with it and see what place we get at the end. I'm not too concerned with it right now. One downside to this game that still holds up because, you know, it's just... This is just the game from the PS1 and they don't exactly, you know, update it or anything. Uh, the AI is super aggressive. Like, holy shit. <laughs> like, not only will they target you specifically with the uh, power-ups that they pick up, they will also prioritize ramming you. Which is annoying. But, one thing that I, that is still super cool about this game is what you're seeing right now. It isn't just RC cars, it's also boats. And, um, if we end up doing the, uh, Silver Cup in this video, which we most likely will not, uh, most likely will not, um, it isn't just individual races where one you do RC cars, one you do RC boats. There's also, uh hybrid races where you start as a car or you start as a boat and then you go through a portal of sorts and then you transform into the other like vehicle which is super super cool and is honestly a really interesting mechanic which Rockstar seem to think that's a that's a interesting mechanic as well because they not recently but uh they did add the transformed races into GTA 5 where you will occasionally swap into a different vehicle. Where you start as a car, then you switch to a bike, then you switch to an airplane, which... You know, this game from 2001 thought of that before Rockstar did. So I just find that really funny that this game just... It has so many good things going for it. Mind you, the physics are a bit wonky. And the AI is supremely aggressive, but, you know, that's just things to expect from an old game. Um, in Grand Theft Auto 3, for example, since we're talking about Rockstar, you couldn't swim in that, and uh, <laughs> there was no possible way for you to flip your car back over if you get it, you know, you get it stuck on its lid. So the only, you know, the only logical solution for that was to just, you know, have the car spontaneously combust and explode, which was very fun. The point I'm trying to make here is the AI in this game being super aggressive and uh, me getting last place power-ups in first place is just, they're just quirks from an old game where the developers hadn't fig quite figured themselves out yet. So to think that this game got so many things right at the time is honestly, it's, it's impressive. It's very, very impressive that Acclaim did so much with this game back in 2001, where we don't, where we didn't have nearly as many, like, as much high-tech and, like, knowledge of how video games work as we do now. But they could be up there with the big boys of developers if they kept, uh, if they were able to keep producing games the likes of RC Revenge, RC Revenge Pro, and Revolt. I'm not entirely sure if, um, Acclaim is the developers of Revolt as well as RC Revenge, but I do know that Revolt is a precursor to this game. Uh, RC Revenge is a sequel to Revolt, which I didn't know, and evidently a lot of people know about Revolt, but less people know about RC Revenge. So I think that's honestly really cool. I first found this out due to a YouTuber, he's pretty small, you probably don't know who he is, a uh, Nerd Cubed who, he absolutely loves Revolt, and he played it for a video, I believe, twice? Three times now? I don't know. But I uh, noticed while I was watching those videos of his that it is very similar in, like, mechanics and power-ups and just the general fashion uh, to RC Revenge. So I looked it up, and sure enough, Revolt is a precursor to RC Revenge. But I can't remember, like I said, if Acclaim developed our, uh, Revolt as well as RC Revenge, or if they got the rights passed on to them. I don't remember. 
All I know is that Revolt is 100% a precursor to RC Revenge, which I didn't know that. I thought RC Revenge was just, you know, a standalone game that didn't have a, uh, that did not have a precursor to it. Which now it makes a lot more sense that it's called RC Revenge and not, you know, RC Racing or something because it's the revenge of the RC cuz they're coming back. Fun fact about this level. Uh, well, these levels I should say. It's just uh, a Claim Studios world. My brother, for some reason, absolutely hates the soundtrack of these worlds. I don't know why. It's honestly the uh, Acclaim Studios World uh, soundtrack is some of my favorite, is one of my favorites in the game. Which will go check out my favorite soundtrack. Mind you, it's only one song, because fucking Christ, that is just a good song. I'm not one to listen to video game soundtracks when I'm not playing the game actively. I'm not one to go and find a song from a video game and just listen to it whenever I'm doing something just to, so I have li some music to listen to. However, there is one song in this game that I absolutely love outside of the nostalgia and outside of this game being super fun. It's just a really good song. So we'll go look at that uh, after we finish the Bronze Cup. Because uh, that's also another mechanic that would be delightful to show off just for content purposes. So while there's a lull in content, seeing as how I am a couple seconds ahead of second place, let me know if you guys actually enjoy this sort of chilled back live commentary uh, thing where there's less jokes and it's more just me talking about stuff because um, my live commentary things where I have things I need to address kind of died out because uh, me stuttering and forgetting what I need to say kind of take kind of took away from the fact that I was trying to address something important. So now I do that sort of Pyrocynical-esque in that same format uh, for my commentary videos where I actually write a script. But I feel like I, sh I could still be able to do live commentaries like this, where I'm not addressing anything important and I'm not trying to be funny, I'm just playing a game, chilling out and talking. This game, while it is a while it is also a pretty good live stream game, but not a very good, uh, you know, um, funny commentary game, it's just, I don't know, it's sort of a hybrid of the two. It's not just a live stream game. It's it's not just a live stream game, and it's not just a YouTube commentary game. It's a, it's a nice hybrid where you can just hop in, chill back, then just talk about whatever you need to talk about. Or, if you're playing it on a live stream, you just hop in and just talk to your chat, chill out. Which, speaking of, this isn't really, this isn't a primary commentary video the fashion of uh, my video that announced I had of a Patreon. But, you know, I, 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 could, I could still take this time to uh, talk about some stuff. I'm not going to talk about, like, super, super important stuff. It's just going to be stuff that I, you know, just want, feel like talking about. Like, um, I am going to start live streaming soon. Hopefully. Maybe. I do really want to start live streams back up. Excellent. Got first place. Nice. But I have to wait for uh, us to get our new internet because we are dropping CenturyLink and we are moving to a new internet service provider known as Emerald Broadband. While they don't offer much faster like plans, I believe CenturyLink and Emerald Broadband both offer 50 megabits per second. Um, but Emerald Broadband has a like a different. They have an internet tower thing whatever the fuck it's called, in a different place, and because of that, it's much, 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 much closer to uh, our town and our house than wherever the fuck CenturyLink has, which I believe their closest one is in Eugene, which is rather far from this town that I live in, because we are in the middle of fucking nowhere, and we're essentially a town built off of a highway, but that's not the point. Basically, the new internet tower from em Emerald Broadband is going to be up uh, near where our high school is, which is not very far from our house. So we should be able to get much, much, much faster internet than we uh, previously had with CenturyLink, which is good, which is very, very good because, like I said a couple minutes ago, I really want to start up live streaming again. But now that that's out of the way, let's go to the track editor because this not only boasts the best song in this entire game, known as Under Construction, I'll just let this play for a little bit. I'll talk a little bit quieter so you, and bring up the volume of the game so you can listen to it. But, 
this game, unlike Mario Kart, I don't know if the uh, most recent Mario Karts have this, I don't know, I don't have a Wii U, or a, a, a Nintendo Switch for that matter. But this game has a level editor where you can make your own tracks, which was a very, very fun thing to do because it opens up it opens up more content. Oh, this song is so good. This song is the reason I love mid-tempo EDM. It's so good, just drop it. And that's why this song is in almost every video I can squeeze it in. It's such a good song. But anyway, level editor. I'm getting off track. Um, this was a really, really cool thing because it opens up the potential of almost endless content. Like me and my brother, when we finished in 100% of the game because I played this game fucking constantly when I was younger, we would make tracks for us to play. Like, for the other person to play. Like, uh, I would give Chris the controller, he would make me a track, I would play the track and try to get first place. So, it opened, like I said, it opens up for endless, endless content. Which is amazing. But, I'm trying to think of what I can build to make this interesting. But, um, as you can see, you have a bunch of different, you have a bunch of different preset tracks. You can't, like, just draw individually. You have to go, like, in a tile system and make your... Uh, track that way, but you can also offset it up so there's a little bit of a ramp so you could go ramp and then immediately back down to do a little hump like that and then flat it back out and now you have a hump. Uh, unfortunately there is a border so you can there is a border and a build limit because you know there are limitations with old consoles like this so I'll just try to make a rather basic yet entertaining track just so I can show you guys that just so I can show you what this has to offer. There's also like different different preset tracks down here, which are unique tracks that like have speed boosts, like right here, or ice, I believe that is, and a tunnel. But there's also like slaloms where you can make a slalom right here, just for funsies. But there's also these ones, which I used a lot because if you offset them up or down, depending on where you're putting it, they climb. I think. Wait, no, these are the wrong ones, these are the wrong ones. Um, how do I delete triangle, right? Okay, I want the ones up here. I want these ones to be offset up, so now they corkscrew up. I would just build up that way. <laughs> and then I would go, like, immediately come back down. And then, wait, no, go back one. And then, oh. Damn it. <laughs> this game out has, this game has been out for 17 years and I didn't know there was a map for the level editor. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh god, that makes the uh all right. We'll we'll freak we'll 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 ignore that. We got to get back to the start. So I'll make this rather basic just so it sh I show it off, but I'm trying to find where the hell the start is. It's over there. Okay, got it. So we'll just go like that, go like that, do a little loop, turn right, over here, another turn, and, whoop, resources exhausted. Shit. Alright. So, now that the track is complete, we can, uh, there we go, we can pause, then we can save the track, and quote-unquote memory card one, aka two terabyte hard drive, um, and we'll call it, um, okay, I was gonna call it, uh, Banana Nut, but it seems we're out of, uh, we're out of characters, so I guess it's just Banana Nan. We can go down here and hit Play Track, Single Race, and Dark Avenger, because that's the, that's the RC car I always use, and then we're able to play the track. I can't remember if I'm, if there's unique, like, tracks to set up power-ups? Or if they're, okay, they're just randomly generated around the track, alright. I could not remember. <laughs> Which, it would be kind of not entertaining at all, to, if there was no power-ups. But, as you can see, the draw distance is rather low because, you know, PlayStation 1 limitations, but... Um, yeah, look, just... There's the hump. This is so... Oh God, there's so many cool things about this game that you just never really appreciate unless you come back... You know, when you're not four years old. This game's so good. I can't praise this game enough. I, I really, really can't. It's such a good game. 
If, you, if you've never played this game, I highly suggest that you go get a PlayStation 1 emulator. Or fuck it, look it up on uh, eBay or something if you have a PlayStation 1 that works and just play this game. Treat yourself. This game is so good. I don't know if it's just the nostalgia speaking or if <sighs> this game is actually really good. I don't know how like well received this game was. I never exactly looked up a review or anything of RC Revenge from 2001. But <sighs> it's just, <sighs> it's such a good game. And up there, track is complete. Alright, I won't bother saving this one because it's just uh, basically for me to have fun with the corkscrew down. I remember that being really fun, but that might be, might be just because I was a kid with ADD and everything and trained me for like five minutes. But we're going to see if it still holds up this long. I love how simple the map is down there because I just did, <laughs> I just did a rectangle with a uh, spiral going up in the middle of it. Yeah, I remember that being a lot funner, but hey, it's, it's still neat that you can do that. It, Mario Kart doesn't have level editor, does it? Okay, I think that's enough RC event for now. I'm gonna leave this here. Not the video, I know I say that sometimes when I say uh, I'm gonna leave this video here, but I'm just gonna leave the actual physical game here so we can listen to the song, and I might use it to segue into my end slate, I don't know. I kind of like Mint Flake, but I also like Under Construction as well. I don't know, I'll figure something out. You'll you'll find out when I when you hit the end slate. But anyway, I'm gonna talk slow on purpose. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, consider dropping it a like. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to become a pup. Also, if you want to support me and the channel, consider becoming a patron for as little as one dollar a month. Sorry, I, I, <laughs> I got sidetracked. Um, my name's JR. I'll see you guys in the next one.